It's Thursday, November the 7th. I'm Phil Picardi with NPR News and Minnesota Today. With the results of Tuesday's election expected to produce a tie in the Minnesota House of Representatives, DFL and GOP leaders say they are looking at how to share power. The Minnesota Constitution forbids the House from having two speakers at the same time. It's possible leadership may divide up which party takes the speakership and which party holds lead positions on key committees. Republican House Minority Leader Lisa Damoth says no specific details have been decided. Both caucuses need to first elect their leadership. There's been a lot that has changed in our world, and so I can't speak directly to what that power-sharing agreement would be, but everything is on the table right now. DFL House Speaker Melissa Hortman says Democrats are looking at how other state legislatures have managed a tie. Voters on Tuesday overwhelmingly passed a constitutional amendment that diverts tens of millions of dollars in Minnesota lottery proceeds annually to environmental projects around the state. More than 77 percent of voters back the amendment, which renews the funding for another 25 years. It also adds funding for new community-based grants. Marcus Starr is campaign director at Conservation Minnesota, which led a coalition in favor of that amendment. We were definitely thinking uh, traditionally that maybe the environment's not as bipartisan as maybe we thought it once was, given the polarization of our country. But really, I think it just kind of shows regardless of where you are, what party you are, this is something that everyone's going to support. The measure easily passed in all eight of the state's congressional districts. St. Cloud Mayor-elect Jake Anderson says he hopes to hit the ground running when he takes office in January. Kirsty Marone reports. The 45-year-old Anderson, an IT project manager for Stearns County, beat his opponent Mike Conway with about 51 percent of the vote. Both are members of the St. Cloud City Council. Anderson says he thinks his campaign focused on local issues such as public safety, infrastructure, and bringing pride back to the city struck a chord with voters. I think it really resonates with the quality of life that I talked about, right? Revitalizing our community, improving the aesthetics of our community, making it, you know, even more livable. Uh, Improvements we can do to our parks, um, improvements we can do to our public spaces, uh, and then focusing on downtown. Anderson says he'll likely resign from his city council seat on November 18th so the council can appoint his replacement. St. Cloud voters also elected three other new at-large city council members. I'm Kirsty Marone. Protesters gathered in Minneapolis last night in response to Tuesday's presidential election. The protest was planned regardless of the election outcome. The demonstration focused on Israel's war with Hamas. Trent Fast with the Anti-War Committee says support for Israel from both presidential candidates turned off many progressives. I believe a lot of people decided explicitly not to support either the Republicans or the Democrats because we've been seeing that both parties support the genocide. Fast was one of many speakers at the rally denouncing Israel's wars in Lebanon and Gaza. A member of the Minneapolis Bloods gang has been sentenced to seven years in federal prison for illegal gun possession. Dante Tias is among 90 people charged federally as part of a multi-agency enforcement effort targeting Minneapolis street gangs. A jury convicted the 30-year-old in April. The Minnesota U.S. Attorney's Office says a trooper arrested Tias for drunk driving in 2019 and impounded his vehicle. Tias had hidden a gun in a door panel. In sports, the Gopher men's basketball team opened the season with a win last night over Oral Roberts, 80-57. Dawson Garcia scored 30 game-high points. The Timberwolves play the Bulls tonight in Chicago. The Wild face off against the Sharks in San Jose. In the weather forecast, becoming mostly sunny today after fog burns off. High temperatures in the mid-40s to low-50s. Tonight, clear skies, low temperatures in the mid-30s. And then for Friday, sunshine, high temperatures in the upper 40s to the upper 50s. That is Minnesota Today for early on a Thursday. Emily Reese has an update this afternoon.